Final laps here at Oswego. Dander has led this one just about every lap. Dave Danzer and Michael Barnes, who's running in second, both using brand new Hawk chassis this week. Those two cars running first and second. That's pretty good. If they got brand new cars coming out with them and that, and they got them working that good that fast, that's that's uh, that's telling you one, pretty good car. Two, they got great crews working on these things. My guess is the phone's going to be ringing tomorrow at the Hawk chassis uh, factory. Orders being placed. Watching the field go by, Barnes and Bond running second and third. Well, let's check in with Derek, who's down in Dave Danzer's pit area. Ralph, I'm down here in the crew of Dave Danzer in the number 52. They know right now that they've got a very fast car. When I talked to the crew chief, he said David knows what to do out there. Their biggest concern right now is fuel mileage. It's a brand new car, it's a brand new engine. They don't know how much fuel the engine is actually using. Remember, it's an extra distance race. So right now, they're biting their nails, hoping that they have enough fuel to make it to the end. That's one of the things that you do. I mean, you kind of, they know roughly what the fuel is, and they probably have enough with a little bit to spare. But with the new car, you're not sure how much you can pick up out of the tank. So you don't know if it's going to run a dry, if it's going to have a gallon, gallon and a half. So I think that's more what he's talking about, is just making sure they got enough fuel to the engine to make it to the end and they'll measure that after the race, find out exactly where they're at. He could probably start coasting with 20 to go and get there. Well, as big he, as his lead's gotten here today. He's got a pretty good lead. He could probably back <laughs> up a little bit. But uh, <laughs> the one thing with these engines here, doesn't matter if you're going fast or slowed down a little bit, same fuel mileage with the fuel injections that they have here. So the only way they could save fuel is if you caution, you turn the fuel down. <laughs> Boy, that thing just looks nice. So, I mean, it's really running the corners really nice. If he can get it all the way as he's caught up just about to auto Sitterly now. You can see his blue car just in front. I can only imagine the grin that's on Danzer's face inside that helmet as nice as that car seems to be to drive tonight. Oh, it's it's definitely driving nice. He knows that. And he knows that he's running pretty smooth. What he doesn't know, he doesn't know that the guy's chasing him or in front of him. You know, he may think that they're a little closer. You know, he's running hard, he's being patient, he's being smooth, he knows he's got a good car. Just from driving it, he knows he's in pretty good shape. But, you know, you still have to deal with some, some lap traffic and be smart getting around him. Well, the only people that have come up alongside of him tonight are the guys he's been passing as he blows past them. Yeah, you can see he's taking a little bit, he's being a little bit more patient right now. I mean, I think he's probably understands that he's got a cushion. He probably doesn't know how big. You know, sometimes you got guys stand down on the corners telling you about, you know, that you're in good shape. So you, you can see he's kind of backed off a little bit there. Two to go. Two laps away from $10,000 and one of the most prestigious trophies in all the super modified racing. Yep, that's pretty amazing. Like I say, a lap to go, and he's just uh, just kind of cruising. He knows he doesn't have to pass anybody. One lap remaining here at Oswego. Dave Danzer has absolutely dominated this event. New chassis, new engine, and a huge win as he comes off at of turn four. $10,000 richer as he wins the 28th annual Mr. Novella Super Modified Championship event here at Oswego Speedway. You can just see how big of a lead he had. Now the guys are finally coming around and that's pretty amazing to have that good of a car. Danzer, a huge win at the Steel Palace. We'll talk to him when Speed Sport continues. Thursday nights, MAV TV is the place to be for the best in American real racing. Speed Sport Magazine presents insightful features to keep you the fan in the know. And I scare the hell out of myself. Tell me the truth. You're better than Rico? And Speed Sport brings you great racing action. Tune in at 8 p.m. Eastern and Pacific for Speed Sport and Speed Sport Magazine. <laughs>